Hey all, it's me Preeti. Still now I was discussing more on arrays and uh, I was quoting several uh, questions based on arrays and today I'm, uh, I'm again back with another important topic that is how to find the maximum occurrence of an element that is find out that element which is uh, present maximum number of times in a given array. So as you can see in the given array uh, uh, that is one is repeated only once whereas two is repeated one time here one time here and here and uh, three is repeated twice here and here and four is also repeated twice yes and five is repeated only once six is repeated only once seven is only once and eight and nine also but only two is repeated thrice so i'm supposed to find that element which is repeated maximum number of times that is what i'm calling maximum occurrence of an element right so please do follow uh, 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 or uh, please do open your IDE Eclipse and uh, please dot, uh, start coding parallelly when I code so that you will understand what I am doing. If you didn't understand, please pause the video and you will, uh, even you start, uh, you start analyzing the program and you code it correspondingly so that you will understand perfect. So please do watch and uh, let me know if you have any clarifications in the comments so that I will come back another way. So I have uh, left the initialization and declaration of an array as it is. Now, uh, one uh, I just want to show you the logic, the logics which I have used. I have used a comparison logic. So I'm just comparing the first index position with the second index position so that to check whether the duplicate elements are present or not. If the duplicate element is present, I'm just incrementing the count if, uh, if it is present. Later, I'm using another logic that is how to find the biggest element in an array. If you remember that logic, if you don't know, please do go back and watch the video because I have used the same logic and for this one I have used to find uh, the duplicates in an array. So these two logics are the combination of last two la uh, previous videos. So please do watch them perfectly so that you will understand this one very easily. Okay. So I am just taking out this logic for now and I am writing a for loop to iterate a loop so that to find the duplicate whether it's present or not and I'm giving int count is equals to 1 inside uh, for loop because I want uh, my count value to be updated each time when the loop iterates so I'm giving int count is equals to 0 I'm an and I'm again iterating a loop for j is equals to i plus 1 and uh, why should we iterate loop two times so we will iterate loop two times because to compare the first index position with the second index position we will iterate this array two times because we compare first element with the rest of the elements second element second element again with the rest of the elements third element and again with the fourth uh, again with the rest of the elements this can be done only when you have a two for loops or you can also do it by incrementing the index position of the for loop I mean of the array so now what I'm checking the simple logic is I'm just checking the index position if I index position value is equals to J index position value if there's a presence of duplicates then increment my count after incrementing the count uh, I'm just taking a biggest element logic I'm just storing a into a variable the value of 0 in variable max count I'm just storing a value 0 so to find the biggest I mean maximum count I'm just putting uh, I'm just storing my max count if my max count value is less than the count at uh, that time please store max count Please store the value of count into max count. So if you want to print the element also, which is occurring uh, maximum times, just take another variable and store an integer value. Come here and store that array value into an element. A of i. So finally, you can print out of the for loop. I'm just printing the element and occurs max count times right save and run the program 
So two occurs three times. So just give some space so that your print statement will be perfect to see. Yes, just save and run. Yes, so two occurs three times. So this is the element which occurs maximum number of times in a given array. So I hope you people understood the logic. It is very simple. You are just checking whether the value is present. If the first index position value is present in the rest of the index position values or not. That is if you are just iterating two for, uh, two for loops to perform the comparison operation. So in the comparison operation, you are just checking if the A of I is equals to A of J. If both of them are equal, if there is a presence of duplicate then you're just incrementing the count and you're taking a biggest element logic in max count you will simply store a value as zero so initially the max count value will be zero so the count if the count increments uh, so let me take for this two only so when uh, a of i is equals to a of j when two is equals to two the count will be incremented to three right so the count will be incremented to three max count will be anyways zero so zero is less than three since zero is less than three i'm storing the value of three into max count so i hope you people understood this is how it works initially when two uh, occurs and it identifies here uh, the count value will increment to two right when count value increments to 2 the max count value will be 0 so since 0 is less than 2 2 will be stored into max count again 2 will be compared with 4 so 2 is not equal to 4 the count doesn't increase again 2 will be compared with 2 so 2 is equal to 2 again the count will increment to 3 again max count value will be 2 previously so 2 is less than 3 since 2 is less than 3 3 will be stored into max count this is uh, like just uh, I'm eliminating the previous value and I'm storing the new value if previous value is less than the new value. So this is how it happens. And uh, if you want to display the element also, which occurs a maximum number of times, I'm simply taking an another variable here. And into that variable, I'm storing that array element. And I'm just printing that array element here. And I'm printing the max count as well. So the max count is replaced each time when it, it is when it is less than the new count value, right? Yes, so these two logics are very simple because I have been using this logic from my previous videos as well. So please do go watch them uh, to understand properly. And if you didn't understand or if you have any doubts, please do let me know in the comments so that I would come back in a better way to explain you. So if you like the video, please do share, subscribe and tell your friends that how did you learn this logic so simply. Thanks for watching.